What's going on, everybody? It's your pal Brady Johnson from UnleashTheRobots.com, and of course, this uh, YouTube channel, only, uh, you know, youtubecom slash uh coming at you with my first ever tutorial video. So please uh, be kind to me. Don't uh, castrate me. Don't kill me, or whatever, or don't yell at me. Um, so if I mess up or whatever, but um, this should be sh a straight uh, forward tutorial, first ever. Um, on condensing your videos, you know, uh, if you're like me, I'm no way professional at all. I'm, I'm uh, I just got into uh, game capture three or four months ago with the El Gato, uh, awesome device, by the way. Um, of course the HD PVR two or whatever is no slouch either. Did they both do uh, great capture? Uh, my personal, the, the El Gato is just my personal favorite because I'm able, it's smaller and I'm able to just take it around wherever. Um, but, um, if you, if you know, um, you know, capturing raw file, especially 720, 1080p or whatever, um, you know, I average about an hour per video every time I capture or whatever. And those add up to about eight or nine gigs, uh, of, uh, of raw, of raw footage. And that sucks because what if you're going to try to upload that to YouTube, uh, send it somewhere or whatever you can't, uh, that's eight, eight point. Well, you can, but it'll take fucking forever. You don't want you don't want to upload something to YouTube and then just kind of leave there, you know, oh, 8.9 gigs or something to YouTube. It's that would suck. It would take forever. Uh, you want to be able to condense something down to uh from you know so i'm gonna hover over uh, a video i did earlier this morning uh, world of warcraft video uh so as you can see about an hour and 21 minutes worth of worth of uh video uh comes out to about 8.49 gigabytes raw now that's something that you know obviously that's cool but that's uh you want to you want to uh compress that down to something a lot more manageable so that's what 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 uh that's where handbrake uh comes into play and before i jump into the actual program i want to do some comp i want to show you what it, comp it it uh brought that down to so from 8.49 gigs over here to the final finishing product after handbrake was done uh to about 1.35 gigabytes that's pretty awesome difference uh and and it does that to with little to no uh, loss in quality uh, i have not seen any noticeable difference maybe my eyes suck or something like that but um there's literally no i don't see a big difference so all right so in order to do that um i am you know go ahead and open handbrake handbrake is a free program you can find just google it um a lot of people use it uh the only reason i wanted to do this uh, video is because uh, a lot of videos out there who, who are doing tutorials on handbrake um, no offense but they didn't speak any English or English was their second language or whatever and I had a hard time understanding them and it took me longer than it should have to uh, learn my way around handbrake um, so I want I wanted to do do something different actually do one in English plain English I'm sure there's other people who've done it in English but I want to do my own version uh, so in plain English so English speaking people could understand what I'm saying uh, so yeah so let's get started um, it's it's not too hard um, you know there's there's a lot you could do with handbrake but if you want to get you know a video uh, con condensed really quickly you just boom hit source you could uh, you could even open a whole folder full of videos and uh, get all those into a queue a queue basically that's what it sounds you put a you know let's say you're you're about to go to bed and you want to have you want to condense four or five videos you could actually have it uh have this program condense uh videos one at a time you know and so when you wake up boom videos are condensed ready for you to go in this case for this video i'm going to do uh, obviously a single file um i i you know i already condensed this video but for this um for this tutorial i'm gonna so i'm gonna show you uh, what to do so um, i did i did a video capture of uh, grand theft auto 5 online yada yada so i did about an hour you can see it's at 7.21 gigabytes so i'm gonna click on that it scans it does this thing all right so the next thing you want to do is you, where do you want it to go so you click browse just name it whatever you want gta online yada 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 i mean you don't have to name it that but you know i'm just this is a file i'm just gonna i'm doing just for the tutorial hit save there you go you got your your name and you know blah 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 dot mp4 uh where it's gonna go second thing you want to do uh leave it at empty mp4 obviously click web optimize click on that it's going to be good on youtube especially you're going to be uh, uploading it to youtube you have to be doing that um you're going to come back to size um, obviously this is a 720 video, uh, you know, 720p video. Um, you want to make sure that, 
uh, it, it's not cutting off any edges. I mean, in, and to be safe, just hit this anamorphic, just hit none, and then click keep aspect ratio, just just to be on the safe side, just to make sure it's not cutting off anything of your video. Uh, filter, you don't really have to worry about. Video, is an, uh, it's, the, it's another thing you will need to be uh, uh, changing some stuff in, not too many. Uh, leave all this intact. You want to click on constant frame rate. Le uh, always click on that. Uh, like I said, it makes it for a smoother experience uh, when you actually finally upload that 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 file to YouTube, and uh, uh, you know it's not messing everything up. It's it's going to be constantly streaming, and there's not going to be hardly any wait time or whatever. Uh, so uh, and don't worry about this part. Uh, and quality. This is another thing you want you're going to want to think about. Uh, the default is at 20, and it, and for the most part, it does condense it down. To a reasonable file size, but I found that bumping it up to 23 um, actually decreases the file size even more, and the quality stays pretty much the same. Um, the only reason I know this is pretty much by trial and error. Believe me, I don't know how many times I I did some, you know, I tried to compress some videos. Sometimes the videos came out more than the actual original file size. Uh, but I found that with uh, the constant quality of 23 to be about uh, right to when it's coming into condensing videos, it's always given me a good size uh, versus the original. Now, once once you're pretty much done, there's one more thing you could actually do if you want. This is actually very optional. Uh, the the bit rate. Now, the the by default it's set at 160. I drop it down to 128. Now, I know you're saying, oh my God, you know, 160 to 120, that's, that seems like a huge difference. Not really, uh, depending on what you're doing. Uh, if, you're, if you're doing a video like this, just talking, talking over, doing some voiceover, no, you're not gonna see a, any, uh, lit, you know, a huge difference between 128 to 160. And another thing about it, another beneficial thing about it is that um, it actually drops down the file size a little bit more. Uh, so, from I, I I've noticed this. Uh, I've done videos from 160 uh, bit rate, and I've done videos with 128 bit rate, and I've I have noticed a difference between um, uh, video size. Or yeah, so um, again, optional. You could just do some trial and error on your own. This is something you sh you know mess around with, you know. So, but this is the uh, this is the exact options I used uh, and use to this day. Um, for the past month and it's been perfect and it's giving me the the an awesome file size uh, manageable to upload to YouTube where I'm not going to be you know having to not touch my computer or not be able to use my internet for eight hours or whatever so once you do that you're pretty much set so I'm going to run it down again uh, open your source find a, the video file uh, upload it um, select your destination wherever the heck you want it to go uh, uh, web optimize don't forget that picture make sure it stays at 720 and make sure it's not cutting off anything keep it aspect ratio keep the aspect ratio filters don't worry about it video constant frame rate uh and then change this between 20 to 23 or keep it at 20 to 23 for smaller video size audio again your decision you could leave it at 160 or drop it down to 128 for a little bit of a smaller video size again uh that's totally up to you so once you've done all this you're gonna go ahead and hit start now if you're gonna you can focus your attention to the bottom left hand corner down here uh you're gonna you're gonna see it's gonna start counting up in percentage obviously to 100 uh and it'll give you a time remaining and an elapsed blah 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 and it'll tell you how many jobs you have in queue just to just to give you you know just to let you know um i do i have noticed with uh, videos that are 1080p um, do tend to take a lot longer, obviously, because it's a, you know, it's 1080p, bigger file size. Uh, but with 720, I found that it's actually it's pretty fast. Now, this depends on what kind of computer you have. Obviously, if you have a computer that's a 2 gig uh, of RAM and you're trying to condense video, it's probably going to take a lot longer than what you see right now, if you can see that at the bottom uh, left. Um, the rig I'm using is an 8 gig um I don't Intel Core i7, whatever the hell that means. Uh, obviously, it'll it'll uh, process a lot uh, jobs faster. Uh, it'll render a lot of jobs a lot faster. So, if you just be patient with it. If you have a, a machine that's two, three, four gigs uh, of RAM, um, just be patient. It might take a little bit longer, but you will. I guarantee you, you will drop uh, the the you'll you'll cut the video size of your original raw 
video that you captured or pretty much basically any video and i mean it doesn't have to be uh, you know video that you've captured of whatever so any video you've done uh you know it, it will cut it down uh by a, a an ex a lot a, you know by a big percentage so now this video that i'm compressing right now uh using this exact settings i will show you since i i, I already i already did this so i'm going to hover it over again this is a gta 5 i did some online game yesterday i did about an hour's worth this got me to about 7.21 gigabytes now i just compressed this maybe 20 35 minutes ago i compressed this using the settings that i just showed you and i went from 7 uh, 7.21 to 1.05 i just tested the video and it literally it, it looks exactly the same it, it, i don't know how they do it uh the, the quality looks exactly the same it looks like nothing got dumbed down um so you can see the the major difference between 7.21 uh, uh to uh to 1.05 that is going to take you not it's not going to take you a long time to upload that to youtube so that's an awesome thing all right so that's going to do it for handbrake obviously you know uh uh you know google it you know find it or whatever it's free and i hope i helped you out here if you you know um hit subscribe if you want if this is was helpful uh tommy i suck tommy was awesome if you have any more additional questions uh type down at the at the comment section um of course uh, don't forget uh you can find us at unleashtherobots.com um we have some podcasts there and we do a live podcast every sunday 7 p.m mountain standard time so come join us uh jump into the chat rooms uh we 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 do our live shows over at spreaker it's like speaker but with an r spreaker.com slash unleash the robots or just go unleash the robots.com then you know just click on the live you know uh the live button or whatever and it'll take you directly to it so uh i like i said uh do, if you have any questions or comments and tell me i sucked at this or whatever write it down at the bottom uh but until next time until the next tutorial i'll see you guys later